much. I quote Shania Twain in disdain. Your fiery into college, imperial college, too sick for life ventures. You've got potential, it's not all potential. The killer song, the sounds in my head. Maybe you ask for a half night stand. After all, it's lockdown and I need a new existential crisis. Fair play, I'm game. When is your next pilgrimage? You plead me to extract you from your abyss. I say, don't you know? You say, you don't know. I say, take me out. You sent me your live location in Ant, Haven, Smiley, Emoji. Call me presumptuous, but I am beginning to decode you. Are you desperate to meet me in Holland Park? Dude, I'm not desperate at all. Actually, I'm only doing this because of my FOMO, fear of missing out, my inner skeptic grovels. You waved to me sluggishly from the Kensington Palace Hills. Not as hot as your profile picture. Is this turning into some Tinder escapade? So, apparently 93% of all communication is non-verbal, or so they say. What's the point of bringing this yoga mat if you sit on the grass anyway? You take off your jumper, exposing your zero-pack, flabby stomach and skinny arms. Is this supposed to be a seduction strategy? A, a male version of déjeuner sur l'herbe? Slugging and serenade in your droning RP accent. Where are you from? The usual blah 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 questions. I'm globalized. Um, what's your ethnicity? Um, half North Korean, uh, half Russian, born in Kazakhstan. I passed by LA, uh, San Francisco, Edinburgh, and um, London on my way. Somehow ended up here. Um, There's Somali gangsters claiming to be British. They're not really British. Well, neither are you. Um, where's your family originally from? Um, here, there, and everywhere. Um, but your last name sounds quite French. Um, I'm half Belgium, but pretty British these days, if you ask me. Can you do a Kazakhstani accent? You're obviously watched like my Harvey Specter suits inspired impersonations. I'm 34. How old are you? Well, it's not polite to ask a lady her age, after all. Um, I'll do an art piece of you. What, nude? Why does it have to be nude? I launched the five minutes I spent on your profile page. So, was eaten like a posh prison? <laughs> it was the best and the worst days of my life. Prince Harry's tutor went to his art lessons instead of him. So, yeah, you're doing that thing where you're mirroring my interests. Nice. <laughs> so, what did you do, do during lockdown? I go to the park every day like a child and vibe off people. <laughs> so what did you study at Imperial? Material engineering. Isn't all engineering material? I'm too embarrassed to reveal my ignorance. Um, although, what a shock to meet all those foreign students at Imperial after my white privilege Tony. The king of SW7, you show off your swag. Social distancing, you belch out. Knowledge is power, you keep saying. But what is knowledge without implementation? So, how come you never um, invite your parents, never invite you home? They're shielding from COVID. Oh, maybe they're shielding from you. My granny voice questions again. <laughs> Slowly, we make our way to your humble abode by the South Can News and eat falafel on your doorstep, um, forgetting the juice shapes. I call up Marouche and lie that you have diabetes. So they overcompensate us with some free beverages. <laughs> I lay here so I can look at you. Um, you don't have to look at me. Fine, I won't look at you. You remind me of my dad. Joel, the Bitcoin whiz, returns with his balloon-like Polish friend who says I'm not a real Buddhist because I've watched too much Gaia. Uh, we down that 4 ACO DMT or digital mushrooms as you call it. <laughs> um, Self-medicating ourselves from the lassitude of life, we listen to Terence McKenna and Alan Watts. I pretend you're, that I get your intellectual jokes 
but I'm losing my gift of speech. <laughs> a sudden sense of compassion overrides me. I have a sudden urge to um, extract you from your platonic cave to two minuses make a plus. <laughs> um, using the little Lacan and Freud that I know, I uh, continue to deconstruct you. You call me an Asian babe, quoting the private eye. Have you not heard of Edward Said's post-colonial theories? <laughs> you nod in agreement as you bullshit to impress me. Later on, you'll go through the whole range of cultural stereotypes, calling me a North Korean dissident spy, Chinese washerwoman, Russian bitch. There were lots of Russian girls at my business school, you recall, but I didn't even try dating them because they're only there for money. Like a broken code, you keep buffering as you caress my breasts. Don't care about your horoscope and what the future holds, but shut up and shut up and I'm too shy to inquire about your horoscope as a result of these misogynistic lyrics. Um, I am a cancer, you expound. Oh shit, the introverted one I always end up hurting and so break my own heart. Um, so, I would gladly go further, but I'm at my period. Who said I would go further? You play hard to get. I distance myself to your shabby toilet, slightly hurt. Come back, you stretch out your hand to me. So what's your biggest uh, fantasy, I cry, in case I never see you again? To disseminate my sperm inside you. You uh, jubilate nonsensically. <laughs> We upgrade to your uh, bedroom. Can I please handcuff you to the bed? No, oh, but we didn't even discuss the safe word. Oh, what about doing my uh, ecstasy eyes on you? Please don't do anything weird, Art. <laughs> your bum fits exactly into my stomach. Nice is all you have to say. <laughs> Dying of hunger, I eat your dusty amaretti biscuits. <laughs> I read your student life love letters to yourself on your kitchen wall. I see my own name spelt with an I. Oh, that overused copycat technique to make someone fall in love with you by imitating them. Psychedelic paraphernalia hoards your cramped kitchen. I'll give everyone hemp seeds as a part of my social justice record. <laughs> this is the only time I see your eyes light up. Surprisingly, you offer to walk me home. Um, you snigger at the Qatari-funded Chelsea Barracks. <coughs> Marveling at squirrels in the West Brompton Cemetery. Um, you uh, recount the story of Sir Oswald Mansions, uh, the home of the Chelsea pensioner veterans. Uh, I'm with someone right now, can I call you back? You cut short your interminable parental calls. As we approach my street, I get anxious. Madonna's the power of goodbye reverberates in my mind. Your heart's not open, so I must go. The spell has been broken, I loved you so. Breathing comes when you learn to let go. Creation comes when you learn to say no. Alas, your marijuana scent still haunts me. And every time I pass by your living corpse at 12 Queensgate Terrace, I shed a tear.